Well, hello, my guys, this is the stream, the live. We're going to be talking about the first soft album. At the beginning, we've got the logo, which is Lionsgate Films. Well, this is the old, this is the old logo. Lionsgate Films, I think it's just called Lionsgate now, which is... Uh, probably a better name than this is a better logo to we've got twisted pictures which is pure what a chat of the show but... this movie is, is a film by James Wan the guy who's done conjuring money 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 what it's called uh, he does a lot of different films, Mega, and he did a lot of different stuff. Great, he's a good director, he's good at horror. He did, he did the Aquaman film that came out not long ago, a few years ago. Was it a few years ago? No. So, this is like the first image that we get of Adam waking up in the bathtub, and I think and this is the key. This thing here is, is the key for him to escape. He's waking up and making goes down the drain. I don't know, like, if, if you mentioned the key got caught in the video, why can't we got the key? You can escape straight away. But no. <laughs> yeah, he's got the buff that he's like, right, that he's strapped to the whatever you call it, the pipe. And then that he hears a voice and he's like, who's there? Turn the lights on! <laughs> Just the answer is, turn the lights on, and the man's like, I wonder if I could. Yeah, he found the light switch and he presses the light switch to light up the, um, the room. And now he can, he can see each other. And Adam looks over to s and the fact that they're in a dingy bathroom. That looks horrible. <laughs> Everything's rusty and the toilet looks like there's poop everywhere. And there's a body in the middle. There's a, this is, um, I can't remember what's, I can't remember what's, what's his name? Yeah, look at that, oh, a massive, rusty pipe and this, he's chained to it, trying to pull it. Oh, so, this is the good, like, to help you just get introduced to the characters and they're like, what the hell's going on? We're in like the same boat as them, which is kind of interesting. If you ask me, I think it's really good that we're in the same boat as them. Just walk up here, just like you. Jeez, I wait. Who are you? And the, 
that guy's like, I don't know, just the same as you, strapped away and stuck. I like the set of the bathroom, it's cool. <laughs> don't look up in an actual shell, please. <laughs> I I I I like this movie because we meet the two characters. We're in like most of the film. We're in just this room with these characters figuring out what's going on. Around the well, well let's figure out the mystery too. They're asking each other what's he doing and that. Yeah, that's a funny line when they go on about me. Dead body, they like, it's a dead body, they don't move, we know they don't move. <laughs> yeah, they're just stuck there, got to figure out way out. <laughs> That's a funny line where he's like, oh, look, are there any scars? You, you, you can just get stolen and put on eBay. <laughs> Be dead by now, trust me. <laughs> what? Did it tell us that? Yep, that's his name, Adam. So yeah, we're in the same boat, we've got to figure out what they're doing and they've got to figure out. So I like that, we just introduce the guy straight away and then we don't know why they're in the bathroom, we put them there. Why, what, what's the reasons they have to be in there for? There's the clock. The clock's like the only clear thing in this bathroom. <laughs> Typically. In Just gonna open that door. See if I had a thing saying about the tape, to play the tape, and he gets a bullet. And a key, and he tries to open his lock. Why was she disconnected when I got that? Well, we keep going, but he keeps saying I'm disconnected, which is strange. So yeah, he uses shirt to... to get the tape. Well, he's trying to get the tape. And he gets it. You're probably wondering where you are. I love the voice too, like... The chicks are talking. It's a good voice. Up until now, you've simply sat in the shadows. Now I see you as a strange mix. I'm not all of it's just I'll do something about it. You're from me. You think, yeah, he says give him a tape because it now you can be got tape. And he he throws it all oh, oh, Then you will be the cause of death. Remember, X marks the spot for the treasure. And Alice and Diane will die, Doctor God. But the gate begin. He reminds the tape. I'll leave you with this, he wants to leave too, if he doesn't, 
escape is going to be in the room to rot to his death. What do you think? Follow your heart in a whispering. So you hear that in the background of the tape. What the hell does the follow your heart mean? But it's disgusting, there's a dirty time like that's probably got poop inside it or whatever. Then Adam puts his hand in it. <laughs> but there, there's the, the hearts here, so you would think that it would check the back of the toilet first before putting his hand in this shit toilet. And he's like, yeah, take off the lid. <laughs> that's what you did in the first place. He looks inside, and it's. Um, a plastic, well, a bit, it looks like a ba bin bag of stars. But that's not all that's in the um, thingy. It doesn't show him yet. He's trying to, so the, the saw, he's trying to use the saw with this chain, and I don't think the saw is powerful enough to destroy a chain, because look, look how thin the, the saw is. But it's not a saw where it's got a thing in the middle, it's just. The shit ones. I'm just trying to chop that off. Don't chop that. Then he throws the saw and it breaks, smashing a piece of glass. And this is when Doctor and Gardner realizes. In a minute, yeah, yeah. Look how angry Adam gets. He just throws it, smashes the glass, and that's on his. Find out about the tape. It's like he doesn't chop it. He he, started, he just realised why the yes, why put the saws off. Well, the saws for to chop your foot off so you can escape. I mean, he has a time limit till six o'clock to to chop his leg off for that. He wants us to cut through our feet, yeah, he does. And the only reason I know that is because I was a suspect. So yeah, this is when we meet the uh, cop. So this co cop here, he was the drug guy in X-Men, the last time I think. And they just found the body. Victims of what six year old male, yeah. So this this kill is kind of bait stupid what Jigsaw did. So this guy obviously was depressed and he did something to himself. And then Jigsaw's like, they're gonna put you through more things so you cut yourself to escape. When the guy's depressed, obviously. This is the guy out of um, Danny Glover, he's the guy out of Re Lethal Weapon. He's in this movie. He's a cop or a detective. He looks like he's a, I hate cops in these movies. He in these movies, I swear. Oh my god, oh yeah, that's disgusting. Ugh. Oh yeah, she's the she's also out of Starship Troopers. She was the girl body Starship Troopers, the woman. And she's playing the tape with the cinema. The irony is that if you want to die, you just have to stay where you are. What? Jigsaw's a bitch. Better <laughs> the path through the razor, right to the door. This poor guy has to find his way out, which is... It's absolutely stupid. Is this no problem? Am I just... How much will you should to save your life? Well, oh, it's three minutes. Poor guy. I think we're gonna be here for a while singing. Oh yeah, trying to escape. You're trying to get to the body. It's gonna take a while. Investigating. Oh, Alright. Here's the second victim. He's gone back and he's a burnt. He's burnt as a crisp in this room full of glass. And. There's his, he has a table, and he's like, there's a safe to, for you to escape. I've got, I've put this stuff on you if you get the fire cart. 
to go go instantly and die. And you, you have to use a candle to find the cords that are on the wall. There's like a thousand different combinations, maybe more, which would take him a long ass time to figure all that out. Which is stupid, if you ask me. Combination to the safe. By the way, there's a far more stuff than the new. Just let have their revenge. For something else. For some of the, yeah, but... yeah, this is where we go to the yeah, Doctor Garden in the hospital and. These are, I think these are, what, like, what do you call them, interns, maybe, working to be the, um, part of the hospital. And we don't know this yet, but what I'm supposed most people have watched this film by now. This is, it's, uh, this is the killer, but he's... He's in a coma. Well, he's, he's asleep. He's a very interesting person. Yeah, he has cancer. And that, this guy's not lost. He's probably better than lost. He is. He, he's like, that's John Kramer. Obviously, someone doesn't want me to tell you what the patient had. Just tell this girl here. To the doctor, you just tell. Doctor. Oh, yeah, he's getting investigated now. Here we go. Dr. Gardner, I'm a detective tap. And they're, they're like, where were you at this specific time when the killings happened? And he's like, um, I don't. I'm on the PM and 1 AM last night, Doctor. For your sake, I think it's best we go down to at the station. Oh yeah, because at one of the crime scenes, it left this other you know, pointer that they have with the light on, the doctors, it left his somewhere. So that's why they came to him. He's like, oh, I don't want it, I have work to do. And then she, they're like, you don't care, you come in with us. So, yeah. He's like, what is this about? And they're like, oh, I'm glad you come down to the uh, station. They're going to question you. And there's his lawyer. We meet his wife for the first time. So he's like, where, where were you? And he's like, well, it was an occasion that I was seeing, by the way. I was meeting someone. He was basically meeting someone because he's cheating on his wife. I was meeting someone. It wasn't a patient. And my advice to you is, to bite the bullet and give them your alibi now. And then we go back to the room and just realizing that this place is fucked up. Right, whoever it is doing this to him. So I'm like, can I go on now? And then this guy, the head drunk guy, is like, no, there's someone here that we want you to meet that, that survived one of his trap. This is where you meet. Amanda. Amanda is one of the best characters in the first two films. After that, in the third film, they take her back again. To ruin a character. And I don't know why anyone would work with Jigsaw. That's what I think. I think, why would you want to work with a guy that would do this shit to you? And he's like, I want you to listen to her testimony of what happened to her. And he's like, oh, I'll, I, I'll listen. But she tells the story. So, she got I woke up, but I could taste the blood. She's got this on her head, like. Yeah, this is the reverse bear trap. One of the best. One of the best, um. Traps out there. Awesome. And if you don't know about Wanda, she was a. Tr she was a. A, a drug addict. Wear this. And then we get the puppet. 
You got buried the puppet. There you go. What's that even mean? There you go. God damn it. What is this? I don't understand. Much of the stupid that is doing this. One, six, three, four. Let's go back to see what happens if it's fading again. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, um, by the way, we are live. Is it on? Oh, wait, one second. For some reason, I'm not connected. Oh, well, by the way, we are live, by the way. <laughs> so, I, I, I thought I'd start a bit earlier. Well, well, I am, I am talking about the first zombie that I'm off the shadow screen, yeah. The first one, not the new one. Do I share my screen? Why did you share screen on like this card? Now I forgot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Why is this card just hurting me? Not this card, fuck so. Everything's fucking up tonight, yeah. Yeah, but... It keeps, like, disconnecting and shit, but... Well, <laughs> yeah, it's like... I, I'll share a screen, I mean, I'm Discord, trying to... Not Discord, I'm OBS. To try to fix the fucking bit rate. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Well, I've got the the um the film up so I can talk about it, but. Yeah. What's oh, that? Just, I don't understand how you work the bit rate thing, you're just way too much. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how to check that. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to figure that out when I'm not streaming sometime. But yeah, the, so this is the reverse bear trap. I like the um, this trap. It's one of the famous traps of so. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he puts like he puts is it like a different trap that he puts on there? Yeah, you drive gets ripped open. That's just I've got to say, why the fuck would anyone want to work with Jigsaw? He backstabs you in the back every time. <laughs> yeah, but they all they all join him, and then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna kill you eventually. Well, yeah, they, they, I think they make a six one. Final Destination is not a, not, a, not not the worst films. I like them. I think they're fun. Yeah, in the nineties with um, Devin Sauer. <laughs> It, it, yeah, that one, that kill tricks you in that film. Like, it's like, oh, how's she gonna die? How's she gonna get the way to, to kill her? And then it's like, oh no. <laughs> That's a shit death. <laughs> Yeah, and the doctor would not leave the room in, in the real case. <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to go out the room while I put the machine on that's doing the surgery. <laughs> How, how many films do you like know? Like, it's the final chapter and then it's another film. Yeah. Um, One second, trying to fix this shit. What you do this nothing the Alright oh, this this is the trap, this is the reverse bear trap. No, well it it I think it sometimes barely the puppet. <laughs> Yeah, well, we, we get a tease in the sixth film at the end with um, Offman, but he gets it off in time.
Yeah, the Offman's one of my favourite characters. <laughs> I he, yeah. Well, she, well, well, Amanda's more the pig mask, and he's more the pig. Yeah, the the old wear it is kind of silly. Yeah, I mean, well, she's got she pulls out the chair at the time it starts. Can't play the fucking movie. You have to... This... And you still get strikes even if you... I don't know. Oh yeah, um, Jigsaw's a piece of shit, he said this guy was dead. <laughs> She doesn't even ever hesitate, she just does it. She really does the... She really was alive. <laughs> I, don't, I do hate how Dr. Gordon just shows up in the last film. And he's like, oh, I'll work with Jigsaw. Why would he work with Jigsaw, the guy that literally... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops, Scots. <laughs> so yeah, that's good boy. It's just... Yeah. He's got off the... He doesn't really show you, he just calls the quit. The the cuts in these films are just silly too, like <laughs> But he he doesn't really trick him, he just doesn't explain. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the way he just starts swimming to the fucking rooms and saving people because he's... Yeah, the guy is an idiot. They literally they, they had one second to survive and, and then he, he shoots the fucking other guy that's in the room and then the ice kills Eric in the fucking... by slamming into his head. Oh, that guy is so useless. <laughs> yeah, you got what you got to start about Jeff is. When he gets told to save people, he takes five minutes and then last second he's like, Oh, I'll save these people, and by the time he does that, they're all dead. 
And he gets the wire killed after saving the wire. The shotgun kills the wire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the judge stepped backwards, got shot, and just like, oh shit, and this guy in the back's dead. <laughs> Yeah, because Jester doesn't do any, he's fucking useless. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It, it's just, it's just. Well, he became a rich con all the way. He's the one who catches them, I think. Oh, is it? The off when he catches them, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well, he gets told to uh, basically put it in your skin and pull yourself up. And he's like... Well, he, he, instead of putting it right into his, like, right in the side in properly, where it could have probably worked, he put it on the, in his skin and his skin breaks and he falls and his life gets cooked alive in a fucking ball, a little ball like a fire. Just saw some cold, man. Just a cold. <laughs> Plays like years and years after. Yeah. Yeah, that's my real <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I thought it was alright, but Saw X is probably better. Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah that, that guy survives at the end. Yeah, he's, not, he's still alive. 
Uh, I know I want to buy in the uh, in is it Saw Seven? Probably. Okay. Yeah, he he can play Stone Age. Maybe if they decide to make a saw or whatever, they might bring him back as a killer. Or, you know. Is it kind of bullshit that he got put? Him and his wife and populous populous and. Everyone got put through all those traps just for lying. The others have to die. <laughs> no, well, most of the people in these films don't deserve to die. Most people. Lying. Movie or no, it's a six movie, isn't it? Reese, the guy who runs it. No, you're just give up. Now you're not getting this. Right, for example, John Kramer Jigsaw as a cancer patient, he went there to uh, look for life insurance for his wife, and his claim was denied. Well, he put that. He knew it was going to be a lie. <laughs> put it on his radar. Um. It's like he's gone. Over, this is. It's like you see flashbacks how he finds his he, wife, he, he, and his claim was denied. Well, finds, put, finds well, his victim. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, he, like Bobby, he found Bobby when he went to his. Bo so you decide if people live or die. He's like, no, I don't do that. <laughs> anyway, what was that? Yeah, um, the guy who does the insurance claims, who insurance fraud, basically, uh, you know, denies claims of people that really need it. Um, so when he puts him in the game, he puts those people on the carousel and has to make them him choose who to kill and who to save with a shotgun that's lined up to them. Do you remember that? Yeah. There's also, what is it, um... Oh, the carousel or the shotgun that he has to save two people. Yeah, he's got his... And he's, he's got his reception... The one with the hanging game, he's got his receptionist and he's got some file clerk. Addy and another guy. Oh, yeah, there's a, Addy... Yeah, there's a guy and there's an older woman who has a family yeah. and kid and the yeah, other guy Addy, has no one. Addy, yeah, I remember her name. Addy has... She has diabetes... But she uh, has loads of. She's old. She has diabetes, but she has loads of family. Um, whereas the young guy is perfectly healthy, but he's a, he's a, alone. You know, he's alone in the world. He has no one, no friends, no family. Basically alone. And that that's and jigsaws by jigsaws logic. This guy's life must not be worth saving, even though he's young. You know, he's like you've got. He's got no family. He's got no wife. A kid, so he choose yeah, he's, ba <laughs> he's basically just he's basically just guilty of being a loner. That by the by Jigsaw's logic, that makes him bad. You know, Jigsaw's logic uh, is flawed as fuck. The ja and the first game that the guy has to go yeah, the first game that the guy has to go through is against the janitor, who's a heavy smoker. Um, they have to hold the breath, otherwise that device will crush them. Yeah, the, the thing crushes you. What you? Bugs or whatever you bold. <laughs> now I can understand putting Jigsaw's a fucking jerk. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah. He doesn't care about people. He's got this no. moral thing where he's like, "You choose if you live or die. You put them in the fucking traps. You kill them." Some fucked up moral code. Some of them genuinely deserve it, like the rapist. The uh... yeah. Murderers, the racists. I don't know if the oh, racists deserve to die. 
What well, I mean, come on. I mean, it's I mean like if you're racist, you, you should get you, you, you should get killed. Punished. You should get punished. It's probably not that extreme. What is it? Um, they uh, the guy, the skinheads, the guy in the car has to pull himself free from the seat in the seat. Oh the yeah, we can park. Lincoln Park, Chester Bennington. Yeah. Yes. Archer in hindsight, now that he's dead. Yeah, he was but, glued to a, the, the chair and couldn't. Yes, he pulled his skin off to save everyone that he, his girlfriend, yes, his yes. bandmates, and the old guy. You will see that we're you. Will, well, you will see that uh, we are all the same underneath our skin. That was it. He was actually excited to play that role. Yeah, I can imagine he was. It's he's only in the movie for about five minutes, and he gets a couple. He get he gets a he gets a relatively tame death because his death is to a. Uh, he gets thrown through a car windshield. It hits a wall and he gets thrown through the car windshield and all his skin gets ripped off and that's about it. You know, his back, skin off his back gets ripped off. So it's just, you can assume he was either killed on impact or he bled to death. So in the t- in, in by the uh, standards of Saw movies, that death was tame. <laughs> yeah. One thing I don't like about Saw 7 is how now... When you watch the movie, all the blood is fucking pink. P- mm-hmm. Deliberately putting scenes into the movie where stuff comes out of the screen at you, you know? Do you remember those kinds of movies where just stuff comes out of the screen? Yeah. Like the mid to the mid to the early to, uh, you know, early 2000s to, le- to early 2010s. There were movies, it was a period of time where 3D movies were all about stuff coming out of the screen at you, you know? Yeah. And every movie that had 3D in its marketing had several had scenes where like a character would reach out of the screen or something would pop out at you. Um... And in Saw 7, that was no exception. There was saw blades that came out the screen at you. And right at the very end, Dr. Gordon, he throws the hacksaw that he used to cut his own foot off with. He throws it out of the bathroom at the end. And there's a lingering slow-mo shot of the hacksaw coming out of the screen at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he throws it out and he's like, um, nah, I don't think so. Um, off, man, I think you're going to die in there. Yeah. But it's like, uh, yeah... This, when the film was released on home video, all the there was no 3D, right, for the movie then. So all the blood, all the pink blood that was used in production to give the film... On 3D, the blood looks red. It's an effect that makes the blood look better. There was no 3D. It makes it splatter in 3D, basically. But on home video, that effect isn't there because there's no 3D. So you just end up... Having this movie where everyone bleeds pink liquid. Oh yeah, it's like when Hoffman destroys the um the room that he's been in, and when it blows up, a piece of fucking metal flies in the screen. You're like, why? Yeah, that We're that is talking. that is not right to have a three D in that movie. There's just no right in it. We were just talking, Adam. Do you remember how that that period of time in the two thousands when? Every move where 3D was, you know, the hot thing, and every movie that marketed itself as oh. 3D, it had it's scenes so where, covering. yeah, just they always had scenes of things coming out of the screen at you. Oh, is that trap break goes flying into jail in a dream? That it's just uh, 3D it, for the sake of it. Saw Seven advertised itself heavily as being a 3D movie. Yeah, Saw the Final Chapter 3D. <laughs> yeah. On home video, it was called Saw Flesh and Blood. Oh, oh yeah, 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 but the, uh, yeah, but the beginning bit with the people in the um, opening where they have to decide to cut each other or, or, or let the girl die. Because the yeah, girl's been cheating like, and he's like, she's not worth it. So they let her die and I'm like, did you really deserve to die? I mean, she's a cheating I, bitch. She's no, cheating, but, but you know... When are they going to start <laughs> making uh, movies in VR? I don't, I don't know. know. I remember in like, was it, 20, 2014 or something, there was Spy Kids 4D. You know, the fourth Spy Oh, I, I, I saw that in the cinema. 
Uh, basically, you had a fucking card that came with the movie, and yeah, you, like, you could smell it. Or whatever, the card, like, whatever it was. Like, uh, smell of vision. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. strange. That's like why did Doctor Garden deserve to be put in it? He didn't. He, all he did was cheat. Well, was about to cheat. <laughs> but literally, the, the morals of Saul were just fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Adam, I was talking about um, we touched talking about like Saw 3D, right? Um. They had this effect. They use this pink liquid for the blood in the movie that uh, makes the blood. It appears red in 3D. It looks better on screen, right? In the 3D. But when the movie released on home video, guess what? There was no 3D. <laughs> so you have a movie where everyone bleeds pink. Oh, yeah, because um, the, the part when Joel dies. It's just pink. They had something coming out of the screen. What was it, 2009? I still have one of those movies, uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. 2000 and, yeah, 2008, I think it was. One with Brendan Fraser. I have it on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray comes with two 3D glasses in the case. Nice. <laughs> so you can choose to watch it in 3D. No, that's got me thinking. Maybe I should watch that movie again in 3D. <laughs> oh, this is when one girl wakes him up and says, There's someone in my room. And the mum's like, Nah, there's not. They don't even bother to check. <laughs> she doesn't even, yeah, she doesn't check the fucking room to I make watch, sure. I watched the first film with my girlfriend recently, right? She'd never seen it. And after Dr. God's gone, and the little girl's in bed, and the cupboard, the closet door slightly moves open, and she just went, fuck off, right, fuck, just fuck off. <laughs> she's just like, he just moves slightly, and she just, she literally, me girlfriend, she went, fuck off, right. And yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> chat, you will chat, so you get in the horror movies when they, when, the mom, when my dad comes in and checks the room, they're like, oh, look, there's stuff in there. Not in this film. He's just, it's just like she was having one of those nope moments. She was like, she was like, nope, nope, you know, fuck off, right? No, fuck off, nope. You thought it was a bad dream again, but she said someone was in a room. She never said anything about a dream. <laughs> Dr. Garland just does not give a shit. <laughs> it unreal. Well, he, was, he knew he was about to go get some pussy, didn't he? Well, he doesn't even have sex. He, he, he pulls out yeah, of it. He's like, nah, I can't do it. It's because his daughter says she hates his pager and asks us if he's going to leave them. And that, that guilt trips him into thinking, no, I can't do this. Yeah, it was the, it, it, that, it, it was the intern, I think, that um, yeah. gospel. Yeah, she ends up being a victim in the video game. But considering the games are non-canon, uh, she probably lives. She was actually, in the video game, she was voiced by Jen Taylor, who plays Cortana. So I remember playing it. I remember playing the game on PS3, and when Jen Taylor's voice popped up on this Asian chick in a nurse outfit, I was like, holy shit, it's Cortana. <laughs> you know, you just got that really recognisable voice. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, who, who's played Halo is going to forget Cortana's voice? No, I'm, I'm, exactly. The first thing I want about the first soft film is I always spend <laughs> most of the time in this room. Yeah, well, the guess well, here's what I'm going to blow blow you away with this fact. You know, the movie was shot in 18 days. Dude, well, they won't surprise me. There's not much that you need to do. Well, I think James Wan and Lee Winnell had just left film school. They were fresh out. They made the original Saw short movie during film school as a project. And then, they and, made then they made, and then they made a feature film out of it. And Carrie Elwes, uh, it wasn't that great big. He was known, but he wasn't well known. The only high profile actors in the movie Danny Glover. were obviously Tobin Bell, Danny Glover, the 90s. No, most notably, she was in Starship Troopers. Yeah. 
She plays the girl that's always trying to bash it troopers. She was like the best character to bash it troopers. She was better than the other girl. Of course she was, because, you know, she actually cared about him. But the other girl was just hot, and she was shit out pilot the ship, but that was about it. <laughs> so she showed her career over him. Yeah, and the other girl's into him, and she's awesome, and she gets killed in a brutal way. Yeah. But she dies happy, she says, at least I got to have you. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Saw so was basically... They weren't students when they made it, but they were fresh out of film school, and it was like their their first attempt at a big movie. And they didn't have... You'll notice that most of the film is shot indoors or in enclosed Oh, yeah, because like, they, yeah, they didn't really have much of a budget to use or all ways. But in the second the film, you see that they have increased budget, and you can tell. It's like the police station scene wasn't even a fucking police station. I can, it's yeah, like, I can say it, yeah, you can buy it, isn't it? Like, the interrogation scene, like, you know, he's in a room with a load of glass windows, and they, they take Amanda into another room with another glass window, like, you know, it's like a board meeting room. Yeah. And then the bathroom, I think was a real, um, I think, I can't remember if it was a real bathroom or a set. But, was, um, it has a lot of... Um, rusty pipes and shit everywhere. You'll notice that, yeah, a lot of the scenes where that aren't inside a building, where someone's outside, they're mostly just in a car. There's a scene in the film where Zep is driving to the place, the bathroom. Oh, and oh yeah. <laughs> Detective Taps chasing after him in his car, and the shots are just them sitting in a car with rain hitting the windshield. Driving erratically, but you notice they never actually show them actually driving. It's yeah, just you, you see car. that the red, the red shot the driving the guy. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you can tell where they got the idea to make the conjuring from like, the shaking camera. But yeah, it's like, well, yeah, like the whole concept of the movie having two guys chained inside a bathroom the whole time, with only a few other scenes filmed elsewhere. Really let them, you know, minimise the budget it took to make the movie. Probably the biggest expense they had was paying the actors. I mean, fucking hell, Lee Winnell, who plays Adam, you know, he was one of the producers of the movie, you know? He wrote the story. Rather than spend money on another actor, he starred in the film. Yeah, you know, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and they got... And they made the conjuring together, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, Lee, Lee Winnell was. They made the Insidious together as well. Lee Winnell plays one of the guys. It's, it's, oh, it's, it, yeah, that's it, Insidious. Yeah. The, the, Jane, yeah, uh, he's one of the part of the, the investiga yeah. investigators that she calls. And then what is it? Lee Winnell in. Yeah, he, he's in the original Shaw. The original Shaw movie Saw, it follows. Um, not Adam, but Lee Winnell's playing a different character. He pl replaces... Amanda repl takes his role in the film. It's like... The, the, fil the scene in the film where Amanda has to get the reverse bear trap off is a gender-swapped adaptation of the original short story. The original short film. Because in the short film, it's Lee Winnell trapped in a room with the bear trap on his face. Yeah, I'm waiting until you find out that Amanda actually works a jigsaw after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she worked, it's revealed in the second film, she works with Jigsaw. Yeah, then Jigsaw backstabs her in the third film. And then, yeah. then there's like, in a different film, there's, it shows you that she was the one where the drug guy got um, jailed to lose the baby. That's why he, ca that's why he captured her. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's why she's gonna... Gets killed in the third film. It, it, all, all they do in the other films is add context to like, oh shit, this is why she's... I um, like Saw so, so X, so X I obviously I haven't seen it, but I know it takes place between the first and the second movie. Yeah. And Shawnee Smith as Amanda is in that movie as well, but... Even though it takes place in the early 2000s, she looks 20 years older. Uh.
<laughs> that bitch, yeah, she still looks good for like an age or two. Like, you look... she looks good. I'm not saying she looks bad for her age, but you know, she's aged in 20 yeah. years. You no, know? she's visibly not in her 20s anymore. You know what I'm saying? Tom, yeah, and Tom and Bell just looks the same for some reason. <laughs> Dude was already old in 2004, he's never gonna look different. Yeah, you, know, but you would think he'd look a bit older, but he, he, I don't think he does. Well, I mean, he's a cancer patient, so he's degrading, so him get looking more wrinkly and older is probably going to be a bit more realistic. What I don't find realistic is how he's in the first movie, he has absolutely no hair, and in the second movie, it's miraculously grown back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you the know, second film t- is, like, takes place, like, straight after the first one, I think. By, by that stage of cancer treatment, right, you're going to have no hair left. You know? Chemotherapy, but, you know, somehow he's got a full head of hair in the second movie. But anyway, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, um, I've seen the trailer. I've not seen the trailer, I've seen clips, but Shawnee Smith as Amanda takes place in, I guess, 2004. Short Saw X does. And Amanda was obviously, I think, you know, Shawnee Smith was around her, like 20s, uh, 20s, 30s, you know, late 20s, early 30s. And yeah, she's, and she's aged in 20 years, obviously. I mean, the first movie came out 19 years ago. Yes. So, and yet they're trying to pull off, you know, trying to make us believe that she, you know, looks to be like, <laughs> she's in a, around her late 40s in the, as a 20 year old. 20 odd year old. <laughs> so the little girl just screams because the guy's in the room again. Oh, yeah. No, but, yeah, but it's, it's, it's actually a guy from Lost who's catching him. <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? Um, but yeah, we, the saw, even though it wasn't moderately successful, it was a cult, it was a... Right. You know, it wasn't... This film had a budget of like, um, what, what, one million? It made hundred million. That cinema. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It wasn't well received that well by critics, but it was. Which, as technology, that's not right for the time. Cause apparently, that takes place in the. In that the... screens were <laughs> big in the early two thousand, but they weren't really common. Yeah, but they have like the state of the art like um, cameras, which in the other ones they don't have state of the art cameras. Yeah. I just like the, um, yeah, like, the first Star movie is different because, you know, um, it's a psychological thriller, whereas for the rest of them, they just degrade into torture porn. Yeah, this one's cool because there isn't much fucking torture in it. It's more about the psychological, what they're going through, what they have to figure out what they're, how they escape and stuff and the mystery. And it, the budget's not that big, and they're in a small, like, small in different rooms. The only time they're outside is when they're in a car, and that's it. Yeah, and um, you never actually see, you know, there's no there's no big scenes of anyone travelling anywhere. The only times we ever see someone travelling in a car is when they're pulling up, or just shot close-up shots. Um, yeah, it's just because you know, they didn't have the budget for it, you know. And it's it's crazy that they actually got a million from people first starting them making a movie. Like it's crazy. It begs the question, you know, how much was an actor like Danny Glover paid? You know, how much was Tobin Bell paid? They had to have taken some serious hits for their to their salary in order to make that movie. Yeah, how much did they Danny spend Glover- on? How much did they spend on the budget and how much did they pay the actual actors? I don't know. Danny Glover was the biggest name in the cast and he's barely, he's not even an important character, you know? He's trying to catch Jigsaw and he fails. That's he's a waste of a character because they set him up. Oh, he's unstable. He's going to stop uh, this guy. Then he ends up getting killed and that was the end of his story. Some version of expectations, which I like, but, you know, uh, just makes me think that, you know, um, they kind of did his character dirty, but I can see where they were going. Though it's a subversion of expectations. He's not he- he's not a hero, 
He's obsessed, you know? Bro, well, he's not heroic. It, 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 it was in a, when his friend died with the shotguns and he got, he his, throat, he got his throat slitty. Lost, he lost the plot a bit. Yeah. Unstable because that, that would do that to anyone. Uh, I'll be back in five minutes. Yep. <laughs> this, uh, this actor here is from The Last Stand. He's like the edge guy in x <laughs> In X Men. <laughs> X Men. Hmm. Yeah, he's like you have to. He's like a weird edge drug guy in X Men Lost Stand, and that's who he is in that film. Uh, this get this cat, this guy here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this is the time. This is like one time that you see him outside and not outside for long. Just already inside. <laughs> Have you seen the uh, trailer for Silent Night? Yeah, it looks epic. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I just saw the trailer a couple days ago. That, that looks like a good movie, and um, we can stop talking about soft a bit, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks like um, I've seen Thanksgiving trailer. Yeah, I saw that. It looks funny. <laughs> Getting killed in different ways. <laughs> yeah. Right. How do you pull off a Thanksgiving horror themed movie, really? Well, it was, um. That was based on um, a story that he. that he did for a long time. Uh, I, I think it's a trailer from, like, Trauma? Is that what it's called? That he did Trauma? years ago. Yeah, no. It's like a trailer, like, it won't actually gonna be a film, and then they're like, no, we'll make it into a film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Have you ever seen the Thanks Killing movies with the killer turkey? I've seen, I've seen the kill count on that on the first one. And, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I won't ever watch that, I don't think it looks good. <laughs> Man. It's a little, it's a little corny, but it, you know, it's good for a laugh. Um, yeah, the Plank's Killing one looks good. Like, there's people getting killed. Yeah. Plank's Killing. <laughs> it's got, it's yeah, it looks, it looks like a fun time. Yeah. Five Night at Freddy's comes out soon. The movie. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't I know what else is coming out. Good. I've seen the trailer for a film called Beekeeper. Beekeeper? It's not uh, in, oh, the, yeah, the woman yeah, gets... Uh, I didn't see the trailer for it, but I saw like a uh, screenshot, like a uh, thing. It's, Still image yeah, it. it's another revenge film where it's like the girl, the woman yeah. comes out of her money so she kills herself. Uh, so he goes out for revenge. There's a lot of revenge stories coming out. Was that Jason Statham in it? Yeah, Jason Statham is the main character. Yeah. That's who I saw the picture of. Yeah, there's a few good films coming out still. I've been, I've, what, I don't know what... I've been watching a horror movie every day, so I've watched all the Saw, I've watched Exorcist. So. Gotta watch Lamageddon again. That's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> there isn't, ma- yeah, there isn't many fights. Like giving me this like horror, so forgetting what's happening. Fights killing is just terrible. 
That's because Thanksgiving is like only a, uh, you know, American holiday. So, well, you know, it's not going to be watched worldwide and, you know, cater to all the audiences. I don't think Thanksgiving looks that bad, to be fair. No, it looks good. I'm just saying there's not many movies about Thanksgiving. Like, around the time of, like, in horror, anyway. You know, it's, I told you, it's based off a fake trailer from that Tarantino, de- uh, I think it's Death Proof, I can't remember. But yeah, it's based off a fake trailer from, like, you know, years ago from a Tarantino movie. Yeah, that's what Reese was talking it, about. Was it trauma or something? Trauma. Not that it was trauma, it was just... No, you said it was from, uh... I remember them yeah, just yeah. releasing the trailer. And, and... Well, that was a Tarantino like double film, right? Death Proof. Oh, yeah, and yeah. The yeah. Other, the other one. The, girl, the one with the girl with the fucking machine gun for her leg. Yeah. No, I'm James Rose, but whatever her name is. Uh, Rose McGowan. Yeah, she, she's in Scream 1. She was in um, Charm, the TV show. It used to be hot. She's look pretty weird now. Well, she's a lot older, and yeah, she's lost a part too. <laughs> she looked hot. They they had her in Advanced Warfare in the zombies mode as a zombie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Advanced Warfare zombie mode. Pretty interesting. Uh, the faces it had it had. Um. What's he called? Uh, him out of Evil Dead. Him out Bruce of Evil Campbell. Dead. First camp. Bruce Campbell, yeah. yeah. Was it uh, that one? Who the fucking John Bernthal? Basically, you know, got his career revival or whatever because of The Walking Dead. Uh, he was. Yeah, he went quiet for a bit and then he came back out. I didn't even know who he was before The Walking Dead. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, he is awesome in The Walking Dead. He lasted longer yeah. than he did in the comic because he didn't last that long. Same thing with uh, Norman Reedus. He got pretty famous after The Walking Dead. I remember The Walking Re- well, The Walking Reedus. I remember Norman <laughs> The Walking Reedus. <laughs> I remember Norman Reedus from Blade. Yeah, uh, I forgot that he was in that movie until fucking I saw it after I watched The Walking Dead. I was like, oh shit, that's Norman Reedus. Yeah, I watched it for the first time. I was like, that's Norman Reedus, Jesus. He was also in the Boondock Saints. I don't think I've seen that movie. If I have, it was a long time ago and I don't really remember it. Good movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard it was pretty good. Well, I guess we could end the stream that. To be honest. Ah, son of a bitch. You gotta be oh, level 35. I think this stream's been liking a little bit. I need to sort out the fucking shit late, so. Mm hmm. The hard to get, but part of the stream, people later. <laughs> a bit. I just want to see John Murphy before you end it. <laughs>